The Backyard, the backyard. The back, the back, the back, the back, the backyard wood shop. Hi, welcome back to the Backyard Wood Shop. I'm Tom Ryder. Today we've got a fun little project. It's simple to make, uses very little material. It's this Japanese inspired uh, tea light candle holder that holds three little tea light candles and uh, uses very little wood, looks really nice, and it's a really simple, easy project to make. So if you want to know how to do it, stick around and I'll show you how. Alright guys, so quite simply, this project will be one of your fastest projects, I promise. All you need is this a board that's exactly 8 inches long by whatever width you want your candle uh, holder to be. You don't have to have it any specific way, this is just what I did. And uh, I've got this piece of 1x4 so I'm going to use it and the secret is once you shape your top you're going to make these cuts then you're going to rip off the legs and then you can cut them and put them on the bottom. That's why you need it 8 inches long is so that uh, you've got the, the width you need or the length really I guess for the uh, legs to fit. So to begin I'm going to move my uh, miter saw stop to uh, 12 that zeroes it out for the under 12 inch settings and then I move it to 8 inches and now I can cut my stock to 8 inches long. So once you get your uh, piece cut to 8 inches then you're going to want to make two 45's. I came down a quarter of an inch from the top and then I just struck a 45 degree line and then we're going to go over to the miter saw set up a stop block and cut both ends that way they're exactly the same. Alright, I've got my saw set to 3 inches and we're going to be cutting off a half inch of material. So that's an eighth of an inch for the kerf and then that will leave us with a 3 eighths of an inch leg. We're, our next step is we're setting up a stop block at 3 inches to cut our legs off to length. And uh, that little blue thing you see there is a homemade finger saver. Um, works really well keeping your hands out of the way so we're cutting both of those and now both our legs are three inches long and then we're going to set our saw at 45 degrees using the laser uh, really makes it easy it's setting up um, 45 degree cuts like this and there we go we've got our first leg all cut and looks good we're going to make our second one having a stop block for this kind of stuff makes repeatability so easy um, and all your parts come out exactly the same and that finger saver really helps alright the next step here we're firing up our drill press we've got an inch and a half forstner bit in that's really what you need to make a nice flat hole for our uh, tea light to sit in and we're going to make a mark right down the center of the board and then we're going to move, measure in one and five eighths from each end and then make a mark at the center at four inches and that will give us our places where we need to drill if you've got a drill press with a fence like I do this makes short work of it if you're batching out a lot of these I'd advise you to set up stop blocks at each position that way you don't need to measure all your boards you can just you know drop hit you against your stop blocks and drill your holes so now I'm drilling the four inch center hole there we go and hitting that five sixteenths of an inch depth and if these Forstner bits when they're sharp they leave such a nice clean hole and now we're gonna do our last hole here remember it's uh, one and five eighths from the 
top edge there in and we're going right down the center of the board and this is uh, looking pretty good um, nice clean holes and now we've got uh, three nice holes there all right three two one all right so once you get your piece all your parts cut you got your holes drilled you want to go ahead and sand it and then you're going to mark from the very ends not the 45 ends but the very edges uh, inch and a half in strike some light lines and then what we're going to do is going to take our glue bottle go ahead and put a little bit of glue on here you don't need a ton because you don't want a lot of run out and uh, you're just going to take this and you're going to put it right on the line on the inside of the line right at the inch and a half give it a slight wiggle it's like I put way too much glue on that one huh well if you put too much glue just go ahead and pop it up real quick and clean that up because uh, this will just save you a lot of work later on and then put it back in place I've got a square here just to make sure that it's perfectly square give it a little wiggle make sure your ends are done and you've got one leg in you don't need clamps for this um, you could flip it over and put a weight on it if, if you think that's necessary but you really don't need a lot of glue here it's really hard to uh, not put too much glue on I will admit because we all like to make sure we've got a good bond and then uh, we're gonna go on the inside of this one I like to give it just a little wiggle and a little press take my square check it nice thing is you've already scored a square line see so if you just follow that I give it one last little press lightly check everything and we are good so that is complete really you just needs to dry for about an hour and then you can uh, put it into service if you want uh, put a finish on it anything like that well I'm gonna wrap up this video now uh, as you can tell uh, we've got our finished little piece and it looks pretty nice you can uh, you want to just make sure that you put some kind of light stain something like that and a clear finish of your choice and makes them look really good uh, I went and bought a big bag of these tea lights at the dollar store and uh, when I've got them displayed I just put these little things in with them and uh, that way they're leaving with a already set display in case they're wanting to just wrap this and give it as a gift they've already got the candles in it so appreciate you watching if you're not subscribed to my channel I'd love to have you a subscriber um, if you need any questions answered, you can leave them in the comments section or you can email me at backyardwoodshop at gmail.com. I always try to answer everybody within 24 hours or less. If there's enough interest for this, I'll make sketch up plans for you guys for uh, the dimensions of this. But as you can see, it's pretty simple to make. So, But if enough people want to, me to whip up some plans, I'll do that for them. And until the next time, I see you in the backyard.